is going to be a response to Mr. Cobble Rider. Wow, I can't see shit. Ugh. Sorry if it's a little extra noisy. My shit's fogging up real quick. Oh, it's really moist outside. That's probably. Ah. But, um, this is a response to Cobble Rider on what would be your first bike? Let me turn my brights on so you guys can see the whole tire scenery. Which is nothing but butt shits. Seriously though, uh, for Call Rider, he said, you know, what What do you want to be your first bike? Or what would you want to be your first bike? And that's a difficult question for a lot of us because we've already had our first bikes or we still have them. Uh, it's kind of a double-edged sword, I guess, but after, after he phrased that question, just explained a little bit, like an example, or gave an example, he, uh, he threw in the curveball, the son of a bitch. You know everything you know now. So, I mean, that's that's a complete hypothetical. Obviously, I wouldn't be buying my first bike if I already knew everything about crashing into a fucking car head first, riding, or, you know, certain, I mean, just bike knowledge in general. Uh, so, it's a good question. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's kind of a hard question to ask, because, you know, you've already had your first bike. Uh, knowing everything I know now. Knowing everything I know now. I'm really trying to really think about this to give an honest answer. Knowing everything I know now. I wonder if... I want, what do I want to be my first bike? If, everything I know now. I don't remember if he said money was an option. I think that'd be more along the lines of a dream bike kind of question. Uh, if money wasn't an option and I wanted a first bike, my answer would still be the same. Shit. It would still be the same. Knowing everything I know now, what would I want to be my first bike? I honestly still think it would be an 05 Jixxer 600 because it's my first bike and I have no business buying a brand new bike for a first bike. Nobody should buy a brand new bike for their first bike, ever. Uh, you should get something that's used, not abused, of course, but used in the event when you crash it. It's, remember, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when you will crash eventually. I would get an 05 Jixxer, knowing everything I know now, because I really did like that bike, and sometimes I wish I still had it, rather than this one. Sometimes. It just had more personality. Uh, I'm slowly starting to bond with this bike a little bit more, but still. Uh, yeah, 05 Jixxer 600 would still be my first bike, because I just, I wouldn't want to buy a, a brand new bike. And I really do like Jixxers, I, I like almost everything about them. Uh, if money wasn't an option, still the same thing. Because I, I, I at least have the common sense, even when I was young, I would never ride a brand new bike for a first bike, never. Um, but that being said, quick little story. Uh, when I was picking up, it's not really a story, but just a quick thing. When I was picking up my bike, To make it a motorsports, there was a girl picking up hers. And mine, of course, is used. It's a 2011, but it only had 1,900 miles on it, which is obviously it was a weekend warrior. And she was picking up her brand new 2014 Jixxer. <laughs> so they wheel it out, and the thing's looking beautiful. I guess she applied for multiple loans, I later, later found out for different bikes because she wanted to walk out with something with the Jixxer she had to wait. And it's a good thing she did because she got a great starter bike, but she bought it brand new. I said, do you have any experience, you know, riding motorcycles? And she's like, oh, dirt bikes. And I'm like, uh, that like has no bearing at all. Hey, look, another bike.
Not tripping the lights? What's that? Wasn't tripping the lights? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, yeah, she bought a brand new. And when she was leaving, I mean, she was a good looking girl. She was fucking hot. Small little thing, hot. She wore skin tight jeans, of course. We wouldn't really expect any anything else in women this day and age, but she wore her skinny jeans, her, her very thin leather dress boots. They're not riding boots. They are go out to a club boots. And she had a tank top, well, what was a tank top? Yeah, it was a tank top, and it had slits in like the back to show her back off and all that stuff, and that's what she took off on. <laughs> and I was just like watching this the whole time, like it's great to see a hot chick get on a brand new Jigster, but it's her first bike and she's doing more than squidding. That's kind of scary. So yeah, ever, knowing everything I know now, and being my first bike, it would still be a 2011 Jixxer. It would still be the same thing. Oh yeah, this is the part with the pumps that like to crash your nuts. Ugh. Oh, not falling for that again. Narrow lane. Oh, Jesus. Why is there so much construction? Alrighty. Well, I hope that answered your question, Mr. Cowboy. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other motor vloggers down in the description, and you have a real good. I can't do it. Just have a great day. Take it easy. make a response and I'm going off to pure memory here I should have watched the video right before I left but so moto talks episode 11 or 12